Hey friends, welcome back to my homestead. My name is Becky, if you're new around here. Today we are gonna be talking all about sweet potato slips. I've got a bunch of different things going on here and I wanna give you an update on how my slips are doing. If you wanna see how I started these slips, go ahead and watch up above. I'll link the video of me starting these sweet potato slips. But I wanna give you an update of how they're doing today. I started these back on January 10th and today is March 18th. And I have sweet potatoes in all forms from just starting to where I'm already growing out some slips. I'm trying to root them. And I wanna give you an update on everything. I have a few things going on here. If you didn't watch that video, I have some sweet potatoes that I started in soil. I have some sweet potatoes I started in just water. And then I have some non-organic sweet potatoes versus organic sweet potatoes. I am going to be up slipping, I don't know if that's the proper term, but basically today I'm gonna to be breaking off some of these slips and trying to root them out. And so we'll go through that process as well. So let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you what I have and how things are doing. These six sweet potatoes here were all started January 10th and these were all sweet potatoes I purchased at Costco for $10 and they were organic sweet potatoes. It's kind of interesting that the only two sweet potatoes out of these six that have started growing slips are this one and this one. These two sweet potatoes haven't done anything. Now these two have grown roots, so I know that there's growth, but there's no slips starting from these. So definitely with these type of potatoes, you want to do the soil method. And I broke off these two slips last week and put them in the water and they are already starting to grow quite a bit of roots. So I'm gonna say that these ones are success. And then today we will break this one off and we'll start rooting this one as well. Now these three sweet potatoes are organic sweet potatoes that I bought at Walmart. And these potatoes are doing fantastic. I have at least six slips growing from each of these potatoes. And this one here, has two slips that are ready to be harvested and they already have roots growing off the slips itself, not just the potato. So I am calling these a success. These were really cheap potatoes from Walmart and I thought they were gonna do very poorly, but they've done really well. Now these three potatoes are non-organic sweet potatoes. I have two varieties here. These are one variety, these are Jewel, and I can't remember the name of this variety but I wanted to try to slip out these as well. Now these were such big potatoes that I had to put them in a dish as opposed to a mason jar because they just weren't gonna fit in a mason jar. So these two sweet potato slips were the first two sweet potato slips that were ready to be harvested. And from what I was reading, you only need them between six and 10 inches before you can harvest them. And so these I let grow way too long just because I never got around to harvesting them. So I harvested these two weeks ago and I just plucked them in a jar of water and they've already rooted out that much. So I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if the fact that they're this tall is gonna be a detriment in the long run or not, but I figured I'm gonna give it a try. Those slips were taken from this sweet potato here and you can see that it is already starting to grow a whole nother slip in its place. So I have three more slips that can be harvested today and I'm gonna show you how to do that. It couldn't be easier. This sweet potato has two slips on it that are ready. So when I pulled out this sweet potato from this jar for the first time, I've noticed the slip was so far down on the potato that this slip and this slip actually were growing in the water. So it's kind of interesting because you can see that these slips have already started to grow their own roots. So they're already starting to root out even while still being attached to the actual mother potato. So let's go ahead and harvest this slip and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It is super easy. All you have to do is pinch it off and get as close to the sweet potato as possible and just gently pull it off. So this is what I was saying that this sweet potato slip has already started to grow its roots. I guess it was kind of probably hard to see it while it was on this potato, but all this root formation is just from the sweet potato slip itself, not actually from the sweet potato. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it into our slip jar. So we're starting to collect slips. So I wanna grow an entire raised bed worth of sweet potatoes 
in my garden this year, which, which means I need 64 sweet potato slips. Because my raised beds are four feet by 16 feet, and I can plant one sweet potato slip per square foot. There are 64 square feet in that bed, so I need 64 slips. I'm probably not gonna grow out enough of my own sweet potato slips this year to fulfill that need, but I was planning to purchase some anyway, which is just fine. So this slip is a little bit smaller. It, it probably could have grown a little bit more, but it's already starting to root out on its own so much, I figured I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this one as well and just stick this little guy right in the water. I'm probably gonna get a littler jar for the little slips. And then I just take this mother potato and, and her roots, and I put her right back in here. The reason this water is a little bit yellow is because I actually put some fertilizer in this water. And popping off that slip and this one looks like it has it some of its own roots growing as well. So I currently have five slips that are starting to root out in this jar and I have another 16 that have budded and I've noticed that once they start to bud off the sweet potato it takes another three weeks or so before they're ready to be slipped up. So that's a total of like 21 right 16 plus 5 yeah 21 sweet potato slips that I have and I'm just hoping that these two sweet potatoes start to do something and, th and that my other three start to slip out because this certainly is not enough slips for me to plant out what my goals are. Go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see how I'm gonna be planting these. I'm gonna be planting them not only in my raised bed, but I'm also gonna be doing a straw method. You literally just take the sweet potato slips and put them in some straw and you try to grow them in straw. And I've been doing a lot of research on that and it seems like they do really well. And so I'm gonna be doing that method. And I'm also gonna be doing them in a roof stout method where I have started a no-till garden. And I'm not gonna be using straw on that one. I'm gonna be using leaves that I collected last fall. And I wanna try a roof stout method using leaves because that's a free resource for me instead of having to buy straw. And so if it works well in that, that would be pretty awesome. Sweet potatoes are my absolute favorite vegetable. Super excited about the idea of being able to grow them myself because I didn't grow them last year. I grew a ton of regular potatoes, which I like but don't love. And so if I can actually grow sweet potatoes, I am gonna be thrilled with that. So thanks again for hanging out with me today while I get some of these slips um, jarred up and starting to root out. I cannot wait to see what comes of this. If you enjoyed this short little video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. If you wanna start a conversation, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I've been really enjoying getting to know you guys. I hope you have a fantastic evening and I will see you next time. Bye guys.